As I'm sure you guys are more than aware, the coronavirus is running rampant all around the world. And as a result of that, hospitals and doctor's offices are having a very difficult time finding medical supplies, oftentimes not being able to find any at all. Well, today I thought maybe we could help change that, even if just in a small way, by making face shields. Honestly, until very recently, I wasn't even aware of the need for face shields. I knew they needed gloves and face masks and gowns, but just never knew face shields were used that frequently. Well, I mean, they might not have been before this. But then a friend of mine who's kind of on the front line of all this contacted me to see if I could build face shields for him and his whole department. And after looking into it, I realized this is probably an area all of us could help contribute in. We are in a very unique position right now as makers and creators because we already have the tools and supplies that would be needed to make these shields. So without any further ado, let's get started. I apologize in advance for this whole setup here, but just give me a minute. And so this is the link that my friend originally sent to me of the mask he wanted me to make for him. As you can see, it's very simple but well thought out design. And if you don't have a 3D printer, this is absolutely perfect. However, since I do have a 3D printer, I thought I might be able to do a little bit more. Very shortly after he sent me this, I saw a picture circulating online of a nurse using her son's school page protector as like a protective mask around her face. Well, that got me thinking. I have several transparencies left over from when I do t-shirts. Maybe I can 3D print some kind of bracket to hold that and make a shield with. I thought that was a pretty creative idea, so I went and looked it up online to see if anyone else had done it. And to my surprise, it turns out quite a few people had done it. It wasn't all that creative of an idea after all. As you can see, there are several different well thought out and well designed options here. However, all of them seem to be quite large and take a while to print. But since my friend has asked me to make him 100 shields and he needs those shields like yesterday, I simply don't have the time to do this. So I jumped in my CAD software and started to design the most simple, straightforward face shield I possibly could that could also print relatively quickly. And so after I got most of the way through of designing this, people on the internet who apparently felt the same way I did started to release their own bare bone models. A few of the designs I saw I thought were pretty cool and so I mimicked a few of their features on mine. Pretty much just the placement and overall shape of the transparency locks. However, even those I modified to hold the plastic a little bit tighter as you'll see in a minute. So sorry, not trying to sidetrack us, just trying to be completely honest and give credit to where credit is due because parts of this were inspired by other designs. Now with the right settings, it takes about 45 minutes for one of these to print. And I know that probably still seems like a hot minute and you're right, it is, but at the same time, these are reusable, so it could be worse. When designing this, I tried to make everything as thin and short as possible for three main reasons. First off, you of course want to be lightweight so it's not annoying to have on your head. A second, as we mentioned earlier, you want to be able to print as quickly as possible. And thirdly, you want to be able to flex so it can fit almost any head type. This is of course by no means perfect as nothing in the world is. However, I think it does those three things quite well. So now that you've seen the bracket, let's move on to the shield itself. Here I have a piece of transparency, hey you can kind of see the camera, and a hole punch. So I'm going to lay down my ruler on the long end of this, just like that so it's flush with the bottom, and then make a mark at the 5 and 6 inch mark. We're then going to want to punch a hole on the outside of both of those marks about a quarter inch down. We're then going to want to punch another hole about 20 millimeters from each side, and then cut a semicircle hole on the very ends. Here we go, and in case any of my instruction wasn't clear, here it is after it's been cut laying against my ruler. Now this part is kind of up to builder's choice, but I personally like to make a mark 6 inches up on the side, about 3.5 inches in from the bottom, and then fold the transparency gently in half and cut a curved line from one mark to the other. Just like this. And with that, we can now take our transparency and the plastic bracket and finally put the two together. So what we're going to do is slide the center two holes of the transparency into the center two hooks of the bracket. The easiest way I find to do this is to pinch the center of the transparency like this and then push the hooks into it. Just like that. Now, as you can see, that's not going anywhere unless we pinch that again and pull the transparency out. Now very similarly on the side, we're going to want to slide this hole into the first hook, then bend up the end of the transparency and push that semicircle hole into the second hook. Just like that. And of course repeat for the other side. Because of the pressure the transparency is putting on these hooks, it's really not going to go anywhere by itself. However, when the plastic does get dirty, replacing it is no big deal. Just do what I showed you in reverse. 
and then your bracket is ready to be wiped down and sanitized and have a new piece of plastic put on it. And with that, your face shield is complete and ready to be worn. I feel kind of weird having to use my own head to display this. It fits my head very well. I've tried several other heads connected to bodies. I've had, I've had several other people try this out and it fits them well too. So basically, I think it's a good size. It's on there nice and firm. Well, I mean, I did try it on my severed head collection and it fits those as well. Now we can turn to the coronavirus with confidence and be like, stop, don't touch me there. This is my no-no square. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, the apocalypse is getting to me. <laughs> Anyway, there you guys have it. If you'd like to make this yourself, maybe mass produce it and pass it out to hospitals or police departments or really any of the first responders, I'm sure they'd be very appreciative. I mean, I don't really know that for sure, but I, I, I assume. But anyway, thank you so much for guys watching this video. Stay safe and Lord willing, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and please feel free to subscribe.